Chris with HobbyKing.com with another great product we're going to talk about today. Today is actually a, uh, a pan and tilt gimbal. Now this is a little bit different from a uh, stabilized gimbal that you would use on a multi-rotor. This is more for FPV applications as well as uh, uh, cinematography work. Uh, the difference is it doesn't have the roll on it. Uh, what it allows you to do is uh, rotate uh, side to side and up and down. And like I was saying, this is more geared for FPV use. And uh, it allows you to take a video out uh, from uh, any type of pretty much any uh, action cam and use that for your FPV work. Now the cool thing about this uh, particular uh, pan and tilt setup is that it is what's called a clean and dirty plate. Um, meaning that uh, the airplane would, that might have vibration from props or, or buffeting or whatever um, is being isolated to the camera with these mounts right here, this being the clean plate. So that's definitely going to help your, your video uh, for FPV as well as uh, being recorded itself. Now it is uh, servo driven so it can work with uh, head tracking units uh, just right off your receiver. Um, and another cool thing about this one is it's the same that we used, uh, or the same uh, uh, general components that we used in the Go Discover. So it's using bevel gears if you want to get in on that. It has two servos that mount that rotate with the unit and those bevel gears interlock so it has pretty much uh, uh, no end play in that so it's really nice and, uh, and get a, a really positive uh, motion with that control. Now this, let me go ahead and rotate it sideways. Right now I've got an older GoPro 2 plugged into this. It has a couple options that uh, allows you to uh, plug pretty much any camera into this. Go ahead and pop this out. And it's these back plates. These uh, back plates, it comes with a few uh, of them. GoPro 2, GoPro 3, and of course uh, the, uh, the 3 Plus, uh, any in that form factor will work on that. And also the GoPro 2 matches the GoPro 1 if you got one of those around. And it also has this plate that will plug into the back. Uh, this plate allows you to uh, mount standard board cameras on it, as well as has two side plates that can uh, screw right onto the sides that allow you to uh, hook up any uh, um, cube camera that you might have, whether it be uh, 30 millimeter, 25 millimeter, 20 uh, millimeter from its side. And that will go in there and it'll pan and tilt that as well. Has a little uh, sun glare shade on that and you have two choices depending on where the camera centers out that can bolt onto that. Uh, fairly light and has mounting options just right here, standard bolt, so you can just bolt it to uh, an aircraft uh, from the top where the canopy would be. Uh, hang it underneath uh, tall landing gear if you got something like that, and it'll give you that option of rotating back and forth. Anyway, guys, for the price, it's really inexpensive for a really nice solid uh, pan and tilt for heavier cameras. If you have something lighter, um, uh, just as like a, a small board cam, you might want to look at our uh, other options that we have available for that under the uh, related items. Uh, anyway, check this out. It's up on the new items uh, list, and as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.